So I've decided to build myself a new rover, a new robotic platform to work with. Previously, I'd spent a lot of time building and upgrading the robotic vehicle I kind of called Kevin. It's adding just various improvements to that, but unfortunately I've come to realise that the, that just isn't adequate, it's not suitable. I want to be able to experiment with the navigation and um, obstacle avoidance and fancy stuff like that inside the home, and that's just way too big for that. So what I'm going to do is build something new, and I've come up with some fairly, kind of, I think, good designs so far. So the first thing I've been working on for this rover are the wheels, uh, motors and the drive system. How it's going to kind of propel itself around. As a starting point, I found these um, kind of off-road RC vehicle wheels. They're fairly decent and do the job for this. Um, I'm also decided on having six of them. So six wheels. I've been looking at various different suspension systems and I've opted for the design used for the upcoming kind of uh, European Space Agency Mars rover just because it's fairly well known, fairly easy to make and but to do that I need six wheels that will pivot on the spot. This allows for kind of a tight turning circle without dragging the wheels on the ground. So what I've been doing is um, building this. Now this is a pivoting kind of wheel system put together it uses a geared DC motor down here with an encoder on the back. That connects straight through to the wheel. The motor is contained neatly in a little kind of 3D printed housing. And then that kind of connects up through to the bracket which shifts its pivot point above the wheel. That then runs through a bearing on a piece of 12mm uh, rod through a piece of 2020 extrusion and that will mate eventually with a servo motor up here, which will rotate it. So that means it can kind of drive along like normal and then change its angle, allowing it to do a sharp turn and then go back again. So I've still got a few more bits and pieces to finish off on this design. I need to come up with a final attachment for the servo to the shaft here. And I'm also going to try and get the motor drivers for these mounted fairly close to this just to try and make these more of a complete unit. Um, and so, and then I've got to start to source the parts and make six of these all identical. And then when that's out of the way, I can start working on the suspension system or the, yeah, the suspension system and the rest of the frame, which will be more of this 2020 extrusion. So I'm gonna post, um, probably post a few updates on this. It won't be uh, a series as such. It'll be more when there's interesting bits like this that I've kind of come up with that I want to share that a video will come out.